one wash popping i'm just back with another client tutorial so i'm going to be showing you how i did this look here on searsha so starting off as always i'm taking my p louise base and i'm using a mac 252 brush i'm going to be carving out her brows and priming her lid after that then i just take a brow gel and i'm just going to be following the natural shape of her brows and just kind of lightly filling that in same as usual Okay, so I'm using my P. Louise Secret Center palette and all I take is three brown shades and the yellow and orange. So I start off with the color Obsession and I just start doing circular motions of that into her crease. And then I go in with a fluffier brush. So as well, this shadow, it isn't like rounded, it's more a winged out shape. So I go in then with lighter color, which is called Fling and I just start to buff out that color. And then very lastly then I take another fluffy brush and right above that colour fling is the yellow and the orange mixed together. So I take the darkest colour from the palette then and I just start kind of packing that into her crease and winging that out. And then just going back and blending it out with all the other colours that we've already used. So back to my MAC 252 brush and I'm just starting to carve out her crease. So it's a half cut crease but at the very top of the concealer I just wing that out a little to match the eyeshadow shape. And you always want to get rid of the harsh line where your concealer and your eyeshadow meets. So just go back with one of your brown shades and just start to buff that into the edge of the concealer. So then I picked up um, the white jewel glue and I just carved out the exact same shape. So straight over the concealer we're just going to apply that glue and I'm using a disposable brush to do this. You do have to kind of work quick while you're using um duo glue because it dries in so fast so straight away over top of that glue i packed on two pigments mixed together and a uh, glitter from glitter express and i'm taking a zoeva 317 liner brush and inglot 77 gel liner and i'm not doing a wing i'm literally just tracing right above her lash line You always want to go in then and set your eyeliner with a black eyeshadow, especially with a gel liner, just to make sure that when she opens hers, it doesn't transfer up onto the glitter. And then obviously after adding that black, you're going to smoke that out with your darkest brown. So now I'm taking a palette. So it's a really colourful palette from Heather Lou Cosmetics. And I'm taking that bright pink. And what I'm going to do is trace a little bit above the concealer. So it's going to be like an extra liner. And I'm going to be using that as her inner corner highlight as well. So if you have a neon pigment that works too. Or else the bright pink shade from the Carnival palette. It's the exact same colour as that. Using my duo glue again. I packed that over the pink in her inner corner. And I pack on spangles. Because that's literally like my signature look. I do it all the time. And they're from Glamify Beauty as well. For her waterline then. I'm going to take the NYX Milk Jumbo Eye Pencil. And I'm just going to do that straight into her waterline and then I'm going to go back to that neon pink eyeshadow and a little tiny angle brush and I'm going to press that on top of the white liner. So I don't have a neon pink for the waterline so this works the exact same. You can do this with literally any colour. So then we're going to use a face wipe and just get rid of all that excess fallout glitter and eyeshadow. So for her under eye I'm taking the Catrice Camouflage Concealer in the shade 20. And I'm going to do that directly underneath her eye. I'm going to add a good amount because I want her foundation and everything to be really full coverage. So I added a good amount of product and then I just buffed all of that out with a fluffy brush. So this part here now can kind of be the hardest. What I do is I take a liquid liner and it's it's really difficult sorry, to get it the exact same as the opposite eye. So I'm just kind of making like a new inner corner for her. So I just draw that on and then connect it to her lash line and smoke that out then with a black eyeshadow. So then obviously after doing the black eyeshadow, I'm just gonna go in with all my other colors. So the darkest brown, the medium shade brown, and the lightest brown, and just buff all of that shadow out so it looks really smooth and blended underneath. I just made sure as well, using that little fluffy brush with my lightest color, that I connected that bottom shadow up to the top shadow and made sure that it's in that winged out shape. So I'm taking my R07 lashes from Glow and Girlies Boutique and what I do is I just add a layer of glue and then pop that onto her eye, peel it back off and then I'll stick it back on again after her foundation. So you can see the two foundations I used were the LA Girl and the Milani. I really, really like these foundations and they're only from Beauty Bay, like so they're just drugstore, but they're like top notch. They're such good quality and they're really, they're both really, really full coverage. So you can see I use my smaller concealer brush for like kind of the awkward area. So like 
around the eyebrow around the nose around the eye stuff like that and then i go in with a big fluffy brush obviously and blend all of that out then i'm just taking a big fluffy brush and taking a pressed powder um i think this is just one from katrice so it's a really cheap one as well and i'm just going to be pressing that into her skin especially anywhere that she would get kind of oily to stop the foundation from coming off and then I do the exact same underneath her eye, but just obviously with a smaller brush so I have more control of where the brush is going. Then moving on then, I'm going to go straight back in and stick her eyelashes back on. Look how fab they look on her. Then going in with my favourite bronzer of all time, so it's MAC Dark Deepest. So I wouldn't normally use this shade, but her tan is actually really dark. So I go in and just make sure that I'm really patting that into anywhere I want to warm up her face. So I'm not using this like to define or anything. I'm literally using this to warm up her face and make her look a lot more golden. And then to go in and define, I'm taking a darker shade. This is from Tarte Cosmetics. And I'm going to be using that then as contour. So more to define her cheekbones. So I'm using now a Milani blush. So it's kind of like an orangey co coral color. Um, I never used to use blushes before until I started using this brand and these exact blushes. I actually love them now. Taking then a golden highlighter from Blush Cosmetics and I'm just going to be doing that obviously to the highest points of her face. And to apply that as well, I'm using an Inglot 6 SS brush which is actually an eyeshadow brush but I think it works perfect for a highlight. So the highest points of her face would be her cheekbones, the tip of her nose, the bridge of her nose and her cupid's bow. And then whenever I add highlighter I always go back with my bronzer brush just to blend the two together. For her lips then I'm taking a lip liner from Penny. So someone actually asked me in the last video how do you use your lip liners and sanitize them between each client. So literally all you would do is just pair it and I spray the top of it with alcohol. So that way then you're getting rid of the top layer and you can use it on everyone. <laughs> and for her lipstick then I just took 51 lip pot from Inglot. So that now is the finished look. I really hope you enjoyed this video and this tutorial. If you did, could you, could you please subscribe and give it a big thumbs up. And I will be back with more very soon. Thanks so much for watching. Look straight ahead.